Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another plugin showcase. Today we are going to be showcasing how to set up a bungee cord voting for your bungee cord network. And so uh, I've gotten a lot of questions of how to do this, how to set this up, because uh, it is uh, a little bit confusing if you have not done anything like this before. So let's go ahead and get right into the showcase. Alrighty, my dudes, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, to get started, you already need to have a bunch of cord servers set up. If you guys need a video on that, that will be linked on the top right hand corner of the screen. You guys can go find out how to make your own uh, bungee cord and network. Uh, so for this video, we're going to be doing bungee cord voting. So to do that, you will need two plugins. You'll need a new Votifier plugin as well as a Super B vote or a voting plugin or some sort of vote uh, rewarder plugin. For this one, I'm going to be using a Super V vote because it is very simplistic and very easy to set up. Make sure if you are running anything below 1.13, you use this specific version. Uh, anything else will work on a higher version version so you can go ahead and download it right here. So make sure you go ahead and download those two plugins. Both of these will be linked down in the description. So make sure you go ahead and get those. So then switching over to our Minecraft host. If you guys need a Minecraft host, be sure you check out Revive Node. Their link will be down in the description and you can use my code at Striker to get 15% off your purchases. Get your pair a set of Bungie Core networks. So anyways, um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting on in the Bungie Core server. And so make sure you go into the Bungie Cord plugins folder. So just go into the plugins folder right here, and then you're going to be placing only the new Votifier plugin in here. Okay, so this is the only one that goes on Bungie Cord. So then, uh, once you come over to your other separate servers, so like for example, I have Survival and I have Factions, go ahead and place a new Votifier as well as Super B Vote into your plugins folder on those backend servers. So as you see, I have both of these installed on my other two servers right here. Okay, so make sure you have both of those installed and also make sure you have an open port with Votifier. So uh, for the, to see we're going to be using our secondary ports right here so this is our secondary ports those are the ones we're going to be using for Votifier so uh, if you guys are on Revive Node just ask uh, make a ticket to open a new port if you're using a different host make sure you go ask them which ports are open for you so once you have those things set up we're going to be starting off into our Bungie Cord server so go into the new Votifier plugin and then we're going to be focusing on the config.yml and this one is going to be for the bungee cord so make sure you are in the bungee cord one and this is what it's going to look like okay so for revive node you're going to be leaving the host as 0.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0, okay so you don't need to change any of that the port is going to be your open port for votifier so as i mentioned you can find that under the allocation settings so this one for example and this is my secondary one so this is 8130 and i'm just going to put that in here okay so that is going to register that hey that is this is our open port for new votifier so then coming down here uh, you're going to select the forwarding and so this is going to be set to proxy so this will go ahead and pretty much forward the votes from bungee cord to all the separate servers and so this is where the bungee cord voting comes into play so make sure you set that there so then the main thing we're going to be focusing on is at the very bottom where this proxy thing is and this is where you're going to be adding your other servers that is connected to your bungee network so for example my in my case I have a factions and I also have a survival and then I also have a survival server so uh, those are the two ones we're gonna be using and so this name doesn't have to correspond to the bungee itself it just helpful if it is organized properly because the address is the main thing that's gonna be looking at so for example we have our faction server and we need to get the address and the port as well as the token that is gonna be registered on those specific servers for a new votifier. So let's go to our faction server. So here is our faction server and we're gonna be going into the votifier config. And so we'll just go right straight into the config.yml. So as I mentioned, make sure you leave the host 0.0.0, .0 unless you have uh, your specific hosting site says to put the IP address. But for revive node, this is what it's gonna look like. And then now we need the open port. Here is my open port and that is the specific IP address. Pretty is gonna be using the port for right here. So go ahead and just paste that in there. The next thing we're going to be using is the token. So this is very important. This is what we're going to be copying and putting into our Bungie Cord server. 
So let's go ahead and just copy this section right here. Go ahead and then copy that token, and then we're going to be putting this into the button cord config. And so make sure we come down to our faction server, and then the token is going to just go ahead and paste that right there. And now we need the address and the open port for a votifier for our specific faction server. So we can go ahead and find that on the allocation setting just right here. So this is our specific IP address. Go ahead and just put that in right so. And then now we can also get the specific uh, port. And then we can go ahead and paste that in right there. So there we go. That is how you set it up for your specific server. If you want more servers, you're pretty much just going to copy and paste it. So let's go ahead and do this for our survival server. We'll go into the plugins folder here, go into Votifier, and then we're pretty much doing the exact same thing. Uh, we're going to check what our open port is. And so for this one, here is our open port is 8123. Perfect. Let's go ahead and paste that in there. Now we just need to copy this token go back into their bungee and then we're going to paste in that, that token right here Then we'll get this open IP address right here and we'll paste it into the address and then make sure we get our open port as well and we'll go ahead and paste it in there and there we go now we're pretty much set up at this point so we can go ahead and actually save that make sure you save all the rest of your files so now I'm just going to head and restart my server and we should load it up pretty fast here and as you see right here, it does say it is listing on this socket or this port. So that is working properly. So that is awesome, guys. So then if you wanted to give rewards with Super Vivo, you can go ahead and go into your config.yml. So then in here, here is the reward section. And then here is just going to be the default one. It's going to give the player some money. So if we wanted to uh, give the player a diamond, so we'll do give player. And then we'll do Minecraft uh, diamond and then one. So that's pretty much as simple as that. So this will go ahead and execute command. So if you want to do like crate keys, if you had a crate key system, you could do like crate key and then give and then player and then you can do like rare one but i don't have any uh crate key plugins on the server right now but that is just an example of where you would give the specific rewards and so here's all the messages that you can change if you want the player to be online or not and then uh queued and it also has some leaderboards which is pretty cool so uh pretty simple stuff overall so i'm gonna head and save that now let's go ahead and test out a vote all right, so the place that I like to test the voting is going to be on MC Tools, uh, which is the Votifier Tester, and this link will be down in the description. You guys can come and test it out here. So it's going to use the Bungie Cord uh, Votifier and then forward the votes to the rest of our servers like we set up. So make sure you have your open IP and port. So that is what we're going to be doing. So we can go ahead and input our username and then go ahead and paste in our specific IP address. And so here is our open port as well. So we'll go ahead and paste that in here. Now we need the public key for Votifier. And to find that, you want to go to your new Votifier plugin, obviously still on the Bungie Cord server. And then you want to go to new Votifier folder and then go into the RSA folder. And then in here, there's going to be the public dot key. And that is what we're going to open. And then we're going to pretty much just copy all of this. And then we're going to paste it into our site right here. So the public key, go ahead and just paste that whole thing. So let's go ahead and send a test vote. And it does say it was successfully sent. So that's a good sign. Let's check our bungee cord uh, uh, council and here we go guys actually it is working quite wonderfully so as you see here it does say it got the vote from nctools.org and then and uh, now it is forwarding the votes to our specific servers and so all right so let's go ahead and join so we're joining right now and there we go we actually got our diamonds that we did that do the offline vote so uh, let's see what server we are on so we are on survival so let's go over to factions and we should get some more diamonds there we go there we go guys that's awesome so it is working so let me go ahead and actually uh, do a vote while i'm online and we should get a specific message and there we go as you see pretty quick uh, that you can test it and so we got our voting message right here so we got uh, four more diamonds so now let's go back over to our faction server oh i mean our survival server so let's go ahead and transfer back over here and there we go we just got six more diamonds and those are the specific rewards that we set up in uh, the super b vote config and everything is working as as it should so if you guys have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments down below come join my discord if you guys need some more further advanced help i will see you guys in the next video have a good one peace out